You have two righteous people that are telling you two other things, what to do. You have a situation that the Torah is telling you, you must help your friend. You need to care about him as much as you care about yourself. Great. You want to learn Torah? Your wife wants you to go with her, help her shopping, take the kids, whatever, do. Okay, now you have mitzvah midoraita, an obligation. The Bible is telling you you're commanded to learn Torah. Okay, the Torah is telling you you're also obligated to, have you, to help your wife. She needs you. She loves you. You got married to her. What you gonna do? Okay, the oraita, the oraita. What's more important? You don't know. What you gonna choose? You don't have a clue. Okay, I wanna pray minyan. I wanna do something for Shabbat. Okay, but there is things to do. Need to make food. How you gonna choose? Okay, to make preparations for Shabbat. You need to cook. You need to make. You need to wash. You need to 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 help. You need to so many things. Great. You can go for five minutes, ten minutes to the grocery store, kosher place. You're gonna buy everything ready for Shabbat. What you need to do? How you gonna choose? Do I want to sacrifice my time and to put my heart and to cook and to sweat and to put my neshama into the food? The Shabbat will be great, but I'm gonna die in that process. When I'm gonna get to Shabbat, I won't have no power to make that Shabbat and to enjoy. Great, but from the other side, if I'm not gonna do that and I'm gonna jump into the Shabbat like every other person with his clean shirt, everything, and I bought every food prepared and ready for Shabbat from the grocery store, so every bite that I'm going to taste in Shabbat, I'll feel disappointed. That I didn't make that Shabbat. That I didn't cook for that Shabbat. That the food could be much nicer, much, much more tasty. Okay, what are you going to choose? How you know how to choose? You don't know how to choose. You don't have a clue how to choose. I promise you, you don't know how to choose. No one can choose in those situations. Because there is no guiding, there is no verse. Because there is another verse that will contradict that. No, it's written. Yes, but it's also written that you need to live. It's written that you need to respect Shabbat. Great, but it's written that you need to enjoy Shabbat. Okay, so I'm going to enjoy. But you haven't respected it. What are you going to do? You don't know what to do. You can't choose. That's the time to count on Hashem. How are you going to count on Hashem? Okay, so in which direction I'm going to count on Hashem? I'm going to count on Him and, 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 and sweat. I'm going to count on Him and go and buy. How am I going to count on Him? In which direction? To count on Hashem, it's to know that Hashem Midbarach is with you no matter what you're going to do. Now it's not important what to choose. What that is important, it's to know that Hashem Midbarach is with you. That's what you need to do. And not to think that you lose Hashem if you haven't made the food or if you bought the food or if you sweat and you haven't enjoyed Shabbat, if you went to sleep angry or upset or whatever happened, Hashem is with you. That's to count on Hashem. Like we said before, to believe in Hashem, you still have that hope and you still want to build and you still want to pray and you want to built your life and you want to, 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 to achieve things, so you go and you pray and you count on Hashem that Hashem will reveal His light. But when you feel yourself that you don't have an answer, that you don't have a clue what to do with your life, that's the time to throw yourself on Hashem. To throw yourself on Hashem, it means to know that Hashem is with you no matter where you are. Just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.